gonna lie to you, I'm not wearing pants right now. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Games Kids today, and only today we are here to talk about the Klonoa sweep. That's right, the boy, the homie, the king, the goat, the icon. The legend, Mr. Klonoa, has returned, thus has returned to us, um, and it is a good time to be alive. But, before we get into that, of course, everybody, make sure, subscribe to your boy here, continue to support the content, thank you for all the love, support. News is a little slowing down lately, you know, because of the June sweep has sort of ended, but it's good. That way, in July, we get to talk about, you know, random topics, we'll talk about random news that drops, we'll figure stuff out, and it'll be a good time together, and we put in new stream highlights yesterday, and there's gonna be more coming up, so... Get hype, get happy, everything's gonna be all good. So guys, it's finally here. Klonoa has launched on all platforms you can get on your Xbox, your Switch, your PlayStation. My mom's calling mid-video. All right, let's do this. Hello? Yeah, Mom, I'm recording a video, do you mind? I'm recording a video, do you mind? No, I don't mind. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. Bye! Oh my god, it's crazy out there. Anyways, Klonoa sleep. It's time, everybody. Listen, let me talk to you, okay? You don't want him to die, all right? Bandai will kill this dude, all right, if we don't all buy the game, all right? And you know what? To do that, instead of me sitting here talking about it with you, why don't I just show you? You know what I mean? Like, let's do a little show and tell everybody. So right here, we got Klonoa. Like I said, it's available on all major platforms. You can get on your Switches, your Xboxes, your Playstations, whatever console you see uh, fit, really. Uh, um, and they all run pretty much the same. Here, I'll grab a random level right here. Uh, where's the game? Can I even hear the game? I can't hear the game right now. So uh, you got this little logs here. The game usually loads things in pretty fast. So right here, like, look at this, bro. What, dude, I love, I love Kodo so much, bro. So for those of you that don't know how this works is, you know, it's a 2.5D platform. And the reason you say 2.5D is because the game does a lot of things where it sort of messes with the backgrounds that are going on so like you'll end up being in different parts of the level that are in the background or the foreground um and it's a really good time and throughout the level you're getting these little gems uh you're going through and collecting them first of all Klonoa, cutest little dude of all time look at him Look at this guy. How can you say no to this dude? So this is the first game. Uh, it's a very simple and fun platform. What's cool is actually in this collection is uh, there's an easy mode and a regular mode. Now, the regular mode is like the old school way. Basically, the, this is the main hook of the game, right? The main hook, obviously, you go through these levels. The game does have a story. Like, there are cutscenes in between. But this is your main mechanic. This little um, this little swoosh attack you got over here, right? So once you go in this minecart, like I'm about to do, and enjoy this nice music, living my best life. By the way, Guys, if you haven't, go see a graphics comparison of how different this looks from the original. It's actually insane how much they improved shit. And I'm just, I'm so happy about it, bro. It looks so good, bro. So you get these little segments like this, yeah, where it's like 2.5D. You sort of have these 3D moments he's showing here. You get these checkpoints. I'm trying to show the main hook of the game, right? So a lot of the main hook of the game is going to be you attempting to sort of double jump right so you're gonna go to these platforms or you're gonna grab these guys and the main thing you can do when you get an enemy is you jump and then you jump again by tossing the enemy and that's cool because a lot of times like you will have to sort of figure out different paths or different collectibles by like chaining those jumps together all that stuff these dudes are sort of like the curvy enemy that they don't die um but aside from that that's it and i love that you know it's a very just charming simple platformer like just from the from the level design the music from a music standpoint from just a chill vibe about it and everything he's got a little flutter kick sort of like yoshi's got in there and yeah there are there's two types of collectibles there's like the six little main character things you get throughout the level and then there's oh the giant move yeah this one i've seen so right here for example you're gonna see sometimes there's giant enemies right they're these big dudes you're like man what do I do, right? Well, you're going to have to go here and murder him with a little dude, right? A murder is always the answer in video games. Okay, so for example, I didn't get this collectible right here. So I can go right here. Boom. Oh. Or I can miss completely. But it's okay because enemies spawn no matter what. So you're going to be okay. So if you miss one, you'll be fine. So there you go. Uh, that's really the hook of the game, man. And it's just... It really is just this lovable, adorable uh, platformer. So that's uh, Klonoa number one. Uh, right now here, let's quickly go into Klonoa two just so we can show the people, you know, what they're missing out on, what they can, uh, let's go, what they can find in the second game. So you get Klonoa one, 
really awesome. I love Klonoa 1, but obviously, and people usually know this is that Klonoa 2 is definitely like the banger of, of the series. I really love Klonoa 1 though, um, but Klonoa 2 is just, is fantastic in so many of its own ways, but I just, I'm so happy it's here, but it really is just, it's almost like that, that comfort food. That's the thing about Klonoa, it's like, it's not one of those series that you like some people stand it of course but it's like it's one of those series that hasn't gotten that many gifts for people to be like we are dedicated only to clono it's one of those things of like sort of you grew up in that era right you played uh clono you know as a kid on your playstation or your wii with the remaster even the gba with some of the games uh that were on there and then you sort of just just get into it and you have a good time and when it's back you just feel you feel that sort of nostalgia hit you so like let's go ahead right here just jump into the level of this La La Lakusha. That's what this level's called, bro. La Lakusha. Shout out to La Lakusha, bro. That's the goat. Say, you can see he's got a bit of a redesign into. He looks a little older, almost uh, going through this, bro. Well, I mean, there's there's some reasons for stuff, but I don't want to tell you because there is like a story and all that stuff. So you can go here, bro. Go ahead here. Like I said, just simple, fun art style and i just i love how they made it look you know there was definitely a charm back then to the sort of pixel art look to the game you know it sort of had this like 2d pixel art style look to it um but i just i love so much about this game that it doesn't even matter to me you know what i mean it just i love everything about this sometimes you'll have these crates in the bottom here that you can break using uh, an enemy and then you grab another one to go back upwards it's just it's so well made and charming like i'm just in love with i just i love this series it's one of those things like i said where like you just feel it's comfort food going back to it. you know it's that thing you sort of grew up with and you're like oh man i remember this and man the way they even remade the arts i was like what i love about certain remasters is i love when they look the way you remember them and that's how i feel about this like the way this game looks is like it looks like the way i remember it growing up same with that like um that pac-man uh, the pac-man repack the, the remake of pac-man world that's coming it's like for example right here right i have to chain this enemy jump to go to the other one so i would go like this right there you go and then you would you know wait for this to, to spawn go up here and then boom get the collectible i've already missed one which is very unfortunate but it is what it is but yeah i was just trying to show off um the game there so we'll just keep going through here uh but yeah like i said guys i think it's also important that listen if you like 3d 3d 2d platformer ish whatever these mascot platformers coming back make sure to support them because listen bandai did not do a great job of promoing this game i feel like i plugged this game more than bandai as today they're on their promotion because obviously the game came out um but I think in Europe, you can get like a physical copy, but not in the West. Um, but yeah, aside from that, usually uh, this game is going to be available. Jump on trampoline, you'll be able to jump higher than usual. Oh, perfect. Of course. I mean, that's the rule of trampolines, you know? That's that's what we love to see. Um, so that's really awesome. Now, also, the game comes with a digital art book and thing if you buy like the... What's it called? Not the collector's edition. Yeah, the digital deluxe edition. This thing isn't anything too crazy. I mean, it's, it's exactly what you'd expect is that you start the game... You know, you get this, then you have your art book and soundtrack. So you can go here, soundtrack, you know, pick up the different songs, your list to darken. Very cool vibe. Very cool vibe you get with that, uh, Kono. I love Kono music because it's just very. It's very, um. The thing about Klono is it's always felt very dreamy, almost, which is what what I really loved about it. Is it felt very dreamy and weird. Like I said, I didn't show you any cutscenes, but there is like full on cutscenes and stuff. Um, obviously, as someone who likes to draw and stuff like that. You get a digital art book here. It's nothing too crazy. Like, it's not Sonic Origins level of how much, like, art you're getting. But you get some cool art here. I, just, I love this one right here of him just being sick and dying, uh, which is just really funny. But you get some cool concept art in there, like, of, of some of the areas, some of the levels, which is just really nice. But you get some old promo artwork and all that stuff. So, yeah, just, like, a nice little digital art book of some of the art in there. One of my favorite ones is the one of the last ones here. Uh, this one. I adore this one this one's beautiful and of course this one that they made for the collection so yeah listen man i'm just happy that this dude is back and i'm just so happy it, it, it feels like i said i'm just it feels so good to have him back so guys please join the clonoa sleep you know make your fan art you know talk about him you know stream it if you have to play the game buy the game support the content out here and uh, yeah again a new generation of people is going to rediscover clonoa no he is not a sonic character i know it looks like it i know you may think it all right but it's not what it is so y'all 
Thank y'all for watching today's video. Let me know if you guys end up getting the game or you're waiting for it or whatever. I think it's only like 40 bucks. Um, it's worth it for those two games. They're pretty, they're pretty good, beautifully fun platformers. So guys, thank y'all for watching. You're the best. And of course, I'll see you all next video. Peace out. Wahoo!